Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and we will start with some yeah not so good news because there is another lockdown in China. But not only in China, specifically here in Shanghai. So that means for Tesla they have to close down the factory for four days. Um, for the Chinese market that is going to have an effect on the numbers in March. But for the European market, it doesn't really have an impact yet, because even if they close for four days and they reopen, they will start continuing production for European market by the beginning of April. Nevertheless, as Troy Tasleik is saying here, um, if this is happening more often in the future and if they have to close down this year several more times the factory, this is of course going to affect the current outlook for the year. If it's going to be the last time, I think it's not going to have such a big impact, impact on the total numbers of cars this year. But four days are close to almost 10,000 cars and this can add up if it's going to happen more and more. So this is based on um, the Shanghai situation here. But if we are looking into the um, production facilities of CATL, we have good news from them because they are building a new LFP battery and the mass production is starting by April. So that, what does that mean for the uh, Tesla cars that have LFP batteries? It is actually pretty good news because we have what hours per kilogram which are increasing so the energy density is but it has an increase of 28 percent so this is going to go from 20 uh, 125 to 160 watt hours per kilogram that is very very good and it's getting closer and closer to the batteries with cobalt. So again, guys, this is very good news. It could indicate more range, more uh, energy density is um, a big, big um, major factor here. So I think um, this is gonna move forward the LFP battery um, supply. We do know that CATL is uh, delivering a lot of LFP batteries to Tesla. So it might already take an effect in April if Tesla is receiving LFP batteries from CATL. This is not only going to affect the Model 3 and the Model Y standard range in China. It's also going to affect, of course, the energy business for the mega packs, for the power walls, which are using LFP batteries as well. So again, guys, higher energy density, who's saying no to that? And if it's 28% energy density um, that is higher than before, um, it's a great news. I mean, we see that the entire... Um, research and batteries, um, the production. This is going to go on over the next few years that we're going to see more and more breakthroughs, um, better batteries coming along. And I think in five to six years, we're going to laugh about current batteries that we have in EVs. So again, guys, this is very good news. It doesn't mean that other companies are not going to receive those great LFP batteries as well. Um, that is, of course, clear because CATL is not only delivering to Tesla, but again, it is a very great news for Tesla and its standard variant of the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y standard range in China. So I'm very glad to hear that. And uh, we're going to look into some outlook for Q1 and the stock uh, market as well for Tesla stock, because there's going to be some moves this week because we have some good news as well coming from there. But not, not only that, um, we also have news regarding the FSD program. But before that, we're going to look into to the NHTSA, which is reinstating higher penalties for automakers failing to meet fuel efficiency requirements. And this is very good news for Tesla as well, because it's going to be very hard for automakers to actually increase the efficiency from gasoline cars. That is something that VW, BMW, Audi and also were actually not being able to do anymore. So now this is going to move the market even more towards EVs and the interest in EVs is going to increase as well. So um, in Austin, um, Jeff Roberts has been doing some footage in the back, um, not here, but on the other side of this entire um, land that Tesla has here. And it seems like they are doing some preparation now already for the Cathode factory, 
which is going to be exciting to see how big this initially is going to be. So everything is moving according to plan here in Austin um, until the 7th of April when the event is going to happen. I think we're not going to see some major updates, but once the event is done, speeches are done, we're going to know much more about what's about to happen here and when the production finally starts. Yeah, Mr. Andre Capati is now, after five years at Tesla, taking a time off. Again, it is for sabbatical and it's going to be four to five months, um, as Elon Musk stated here. Um, I think it's a good news that he's not leaving um, because he's maybe burned out, but he's taking a break and he's going to come back. So that is exciting and that is very important for Tesla as he's doing a great job. And as he's um, trying to develop the FSD further and trying to achieve full autonomous driving. And with that, it is important to um, still hold this person in the Tesla company. Um, so it's not going to be a backwards move to find someone else who is able to lead a team in achieving full autonomous driving. And I think Tesla is very close in achieving it. They just need a bit more time. For the Tesla stock here, not in dollar, but in euro, we see an increase over the past year of 78%. So that is a big and good return here. Um, but we're going to see a lot of movements this week. There might be the effect from the Tesla stock on the close down for four days, even though for long, in, uh, long time investors and um, long term thinking people, this is not going to have any big um, impact here on any decisions. Uh, but of course, the numbers will be interesting for Q1. They will come out very soon after this quarter is done. So you see there is a lot of interesting stuff happening here um, with a battery supply that could um, get Tesla better LFP batteries. But we also have news from Germany. As in Germany, um, the PR department is going to be built. So there is actually going to be a PR department that is um, going to take um, care of applications, of emails, etc. Um, but what they also going to do is they actually going to help people to test drive a car. Something that other car makers are doing already. But Tesla is going to do that in Germany as well. That is um, again just uh, mentioned inside um, the job description. So it's going to be very interesting to see um, how long it's going to take to actually do that. Um, but I think it would be a good decision so people can get a better impression of new cars Tesla is building. So um, again, guys, just as a reminder, you can find me as well on Apple Podcast. Um, you can find me on Amazon Music and Spotify. For my Tessie Supply podcast, you're going to hear this, what you hear here as well over there. I would be very glad to have and welcome you as well over there. It is also for English speakers. Take care. Thank you very much.